we're going to talk all about Fresno State. Fresno State lineup, how they did last year, and what they're going to accomplish this season and beyond that. So the first thing I want to say is Fresno State is looking to dominate. They, they are. Um, they This is their third season, third official season as a program uh, under coach Troy Steiner. And they've already had one All-American last year and Josh Hokett, of course, at 197 pounds who is back, but I'll get to him in just a bit. So I want to let you know, you know, we're talking about Fresno State this week. Who do you want to see in next week's lineup? And who are you excited, you know, who are you excited as a team to see? Who do you want to see next? I'm doing all the wrestling lineups for the upcoming season. Now, as I said, third season for Fresno State. They were 9-8 and eight last year as a program. Their best wins over number 11, Wyoming, and number 23, Utah Valley. Now, of course, yeah, they did have some losses, and they had some, I guess, holes in the lineup where they needed to fill. Uh, they had two qualifiers in uh, year one, actually, as a program. And last year, they had five qualifiers in the first All-American, as I mentioned. They finished top 30 as a team, which is pretty impressive. Um, you know, they're... They're not in that top echelon yet, and you know, I, I would nobody would expect them to be in the top echelon for their third year as a program, but they are competitive. They are very, very competitive. Now, the recruiting class was very impressive for the 2019 recruiting class. Number eight ranked by Flow Wrestling, number 13 ranked by Intermat. They have four out of the top 100 recruits in this upcoming season. They got a tough schedule. They'll be wrestling Wisconsin, Rutgers, Cliff Keen, Las Vegas. They'll be wrestling at Reno, Virginia Duels. Uh, they have Iowa State. They have CSU Bakersfield, Illinois, and Oklahoma. So let's get into the lineup. At 125 pounds, two guys here. One is a returner in Robert Garcia the fourth, who is last year's main starter, uh, although the the other guy at 125 pounds wrestled a couple of matches in Jeremy uh, Trin. Now, Garcia was 6-14 last year. Right now, he's number 9 at 125 pounds. Uh, and, number, of course, you know, at number 1 at 125 pounds at this weight is Nick Piccinini. Uh, so that's going to be a tough battle for Garcia. But the other guy, Jeremy Trin, uh, he wrestled some last year. Like I said, he was 8-11 last season. But he did have a win over uh, Milhoff of Arizona State, which I found pretty darn impressive but i have to give this spot again to robert garcia hopefully he's looking uh you know to make a little bit more noise at the conference tournament and go on to you know qualify for nationals and score a couple points for the team so that's why i have garcia in the lineup uh at 125 at 133 three guys here uh isaiah perez is one guy he's a junior i was not able to find much information about him i actually don't have much info on him uh at 133 pounds now there is another isaiah perez who's at a different weight for fresno state which i found mm, pretty weird but the other guy here is gary joint who's last year's starter he's a sophomore and he was 18 and 15 he won a match at ncaa of course scoring a couple of points which is big he's fifth at Big 12s, where and he wrestled throughout the season, Dayton Fix, he wrestled Mickey Phillippe, Austin Gomez, uh, and right now he's number seven at 133 pounds. The other guy you have here is Kyle Parco, who's a true freshman. I don't see him, you know, making a lineup just because you know he's coming in his freshman year, he's probably gonna redshirt. So that's why I have to give this spot to Gary Joint. Hoping hopefully he can you know make win a couple more matches at Nationals last year, or this upcoming year. 141, four guys here. Uh, Kyle Parco, you could see him jumping up, so I'll, I'll throw his name in there first. Uh, the other guy, Chris Deloza, who's last year's starter. Deloza is a junior. He was 12 and 13 last year. He did not place at Big 12, and he had no major ranked wins. So he needs to really, he's one guy that needs to step it up for Fresno State if they're looking to you know, become a dominant team and a dominant force over the upcoming years. He's number seven at 141 right now. Uh, the other guy, two guys in at 141 are Lawrence Sains, who's a redshirt freshman from California. He's a top ranked recruit at 132 pounds. He's nine and five at wrestling opens last year. The other guy is Durbin Lauren who's 4-1 and one in a transfer from Utah Valley. Uh, the one thing I'll say about Fresno State is you see a lot of transfers. Of course, because they're a third-year program, 
the guys who are wrestling here, well, they may have wrestled at different schools in the past and, you know, were able to transfer in. So I'll, I'll mention a couple of those guys who did transfer in. Uh, Durbin Lauren was one of those guys. He's a, a junior this year. The guy who I have making the lineup is Deloza. I see him starting yet again for Fresno State. At 149, Christian Olivas. Uh, Olivas was six in Big 12s this year. Uh, he was 21 in 13 overall. Unfortunately, he was 0 2 at Nationals, so didn't put any points on the board for Fresno State. Uh, but his best win was over Josh Maruka of Arizona State, which I find to be a very impressive win. Uh, and, you know, if he can pull off wins like that again, I can see him doing really well. It's also great that he's number four at 149 pounds right now. Of course, ahead of him, you have Max Thompson, Jarrett Dagan, and Caden Gefeller. He's going to have to beat one of those top-ranked guys uh, if he wants to make a name for himself and uh, do well for Fresno State. The other guy here is a true freshman, and that's Jace Luchow from Selma, California. He's number 52 overall recruit in the class of 2019. He's number 7 in his weight class at 152 pounds in high school. He plays second at Ironman. It was an OW at Fargo uh, this past year. So, Jace, I don't think he's going to start this year just because he's a true freshman. I see him probably redshirting, and that's why I have to give this spot at 149 to Olivas. Uh, at 157. You could see Jace jump it up. It's one guy you could see. Another true freshman that's there is Matt Olgan. Uh, he's from Buchanan, California. Again, you see a lot of these guys coming from California, going to Fresno State. There's really no wonder why. That's, that's kind of what happens. He was the number 12 overall recruit in the, in the class of 2019. So that's a heck of a grab for Fresno State. He was number three at 160 pounds uh, overall in high school, and he's a two-time state champion in California. The other guy you have here is Greg Gaxula, who was two and one last year, wrestled California Open, and then Jacob Wright, who was last year's starter. He's fifth in the Big 12 last year. He was 28 and 11, so putting up a bunch of wins. You see, Fresno State has a massive schedule. Uh, being able to wrestle that many matches in one year is pretty darn impressive. He did not qualify for nationals, unfortunately, uh, but he did beat last year's starter in Isaiah Hokett at 165. His best win was over Larry Early, if you don't want to count that Hokett win. Best win was over Larry Early of Old Dominion. He actually placed third at Reno, and right now he's number five at 157 pounds and that's why Jacob Wright is probably going to get the starting spot yet again now 150 or 165 Brandon Martino was last year's not actually a starter the starter last year was Isaiah Hokett uh, related of course to Josh Hokett at 197 pounds Isaiah Hokett was right now he's unlisted on Fresno State's roster although he should be a redshirt senior uh, right now Hokett is um, actually ranked in, in the at, at 165 pounds number nine in the big 12 by flow wrestling uh, it's not I don't, I don't have confirmation whether he's actually wrestling this upcoming season or whether he's on the roster or not uh, so because I couldn't find much information, I have to kind of leave him out of it. Now, you've also have Adam Kemp, a redshirt freshman, 4-4 four and four last year, won the California Open. And then Martino, as I said, was 4-7 and seven last year, hit a win at Midlands. Uh, unless Hokett is actually in the lineup, I have to say Martino is probably the starter at 165. At 174, uh, three guys here. Ricky Padilla is a senior. He was... Uh, actually, his first season was last year for Fresno State. Before that, he wrestled for Air Force. Uh, Josh Ramirez, last year, had a close match with Brandon Womack. Uh, Ramirez is a sophomore. Uh, Womack, you may know from Cornell. Uh, Ramirez is another guy. Is a transfer. He's from West Virginia. Uh, now he's at Fresno State. And then the third guy, who was last year's starter, is Dominic Kincaid, who is a senior. He was 12-11 and 11 last year with two wins at the Big 12 tournament. He's originally uh, wrestled at Cal Baptist, so this is a weight where all three guys are transfers coming into Fresno State. And he was fifth at Reno last year, and number nine at 174 pounds. That's where he's currently ranked, and that's why Dominic Sincade, uh, Kincaid Sincade is actually uh, this is going to be the starter at 174 pounds, in my opinion. At 184, three guys here. One returning starter, and that is Jackson Hemauer, 23-13 and 13 last year, 5th in the Big 12. He was 0-2 at Nationals, 
And that's that's a theme I've kind of noticed with Fresno State is they have a lot of guys who have qualified. A lot of went 0-2. They have to pick up a couple more wins if they want to put some points on the board and get closer to that bottom 20, you know, around that 20, 21, 22 range and maybe even crack into the teens. But they got to get some points on the board. They can't be going get, sending guys there going 0-2. Uh, of course, you know, a lot of these guys, it's their first year at Nationals as a program not just as individual rushers but as a program so that's a lot of pressure on these guys now he had two he Mauer had two wins at midlands uh three wins at cliff Keen, las vegas i think he's going to do really well this uh, upcoming year as a sophomore uh and that's why he's probably going to start but the other two guys you have christian rodriguez true freshman uh and then inhale solis who's a junior uh he had some wins at reno last year but i have to give the spot to he Mauer. at 197 very loaded weight, very loaded weight, uh, but you know, one main guy is probably going to be the starter. Now, I'll go through a couple of these other guys who are there. First, uh, Owen Pence, a freshman. You have Isaiah Perez, who I mentioned earlier. There's another, another Isaiah Perez on the team, another guy with the same name, which is kind of strange, uh, but he was 7-4 and four last year, wrestled a couple opens, and he actually lost to Josh Hokett at Reno. You have Danny Salas, who's a junior, 8-9 and nine last year. He had a couple wins at opens, which is good for him, and Ryan Reyes, who's a true freshman coming in from Gilroy, California, number 54 overall recruit in the class of 2019, number six at 195 pounds in high school. And now uh, he actually placed at Reno last year. And then you have Josh Hokett, uh, who was the starter last year and Fresno State's first All American. Uh, first All American in it was their second year as a program, which is darn impressive. Hokett, of course, is also. On the football team at Fresno State, which is absolutely incredible, he was fifth. He's uh, right now he's fifth at 197 pounds, and he took fifth last year uh, at nationals. So you know, only right that that's kind of where he is. Um, I think he's doing, going to do really well this upcoming season. Look for Hokett to All American again. And really put Fresno State on the map. I, I think he already did put them on the map this past year, but really look for their recruiting class to do really well. Hoka is going to be the starter at 197. Uh, unless there's been some talk, there's been some talk that he jumps up to 285. And if that's the case, we could see if he, he's actually even going to start. Uh, I don't know what he's weighing in at right now as a heavyweight, as a, you know, as a football player, of course, he's probably put on some weight, but there's been some talk that he goes heavyweight. Now, the other guy there at heavyweight is Randy Gonzalez, a sophomore, and the starter last year was A.J. Nevels, who was second in the Big Ten last year, 24-9. He went 0-2 at Nationals, which is unfortunate for Fresno State because I believe that A.J. probably could have made a decent run, uh, at least become an All-American you know, at least won a couple of matches to become an All-American. Uh, he was second in the Big 12. As I said, he lost to Derek White uh, of Oklahoma State. He's Right now, he's number three at or two, 285 pounds behind Tate Orndorff and Brian Andrews. A.J. Nevels uh, versus Josh Hokett would be a pretty interesting match. I would imagine that Nevels has some weight on him, so I kind of hope that Hokett is wrestling 197, and I'm going to put A.J. Nevels at 285. Now, make sure that if you like this lineup, that you're checking out the other lineup previews on the channel, Arizona State, Iowa, Rutgers, they're all here on the channel, so make sure you check them all out. (laughs) 